Hi, I'm Lindsay. Um, one of the most important things about makeup application is having a fresh canvas, having a very clean start. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick way that you can clean your face without any water or anything. Just uh, uh, it's a cream cleanser. And today I'm deciding to use the um, Clarins Cleansing Milk. It is. Um, it's for normal to dry skin. My skin tends to be kind of dry. So I'm going to take a good size amount, like about like this. Um, I'm going to rub it in my hands. You want to warm it up in your hands to activate the product just for a few seconds and then push it on your face. And you just want to like push and release. And this is going to lift off all the makeup. I have foundation and powder the whole thing today. So you just push it on. And then you can either take a um, cotton round to wipe off the excess. You want to make sure you're getting it off your neck too if you did any blending. And it, it it's really, it, it shows all the makeup, it comes off. But um, when you go, you'll take a warm rag and just get the rest of the cleansing milk off. And then I'm going to take and do the same thing with my eye makeup except I'm going to take a little bit less of the cleansing milk and I'm not going to activate as much rubbing it together and just press lightly try not to drag the eyelid go up get really work in between your eyelashes to get all of that mascara out so your next application goes on clean or if it's in the evening so you're not having any um, build up on your face and then again, I like to take um, the warm rag. You can use the cotton rounds again, but I'm going to take my warm rag and you just not pull in real hard, really work in the lash line to try to get that off. A lot of teenagers have this problem of not removing their makeup properly. The eye makeup especially, you want to get in that lash line. If you're just going down and rubbing like this, you're not getting the mascara off. When you apply the mascara, you're applying upward. So you need to do the same motion when you're removing your makeup. And so, have it all nice and clean. And then, there's two kind of toners that you can use. You can use a liquid toner that comes more like this. This is a Clarins, a Clarins one that I like. Or, today I'm going to be using a spray toner. Let me get that right. Um, it's, I'm sorry, I'm new to webcam here. The Aveda um, Botanical Kinetics Skin Firming Toning Agent. And it is a spray, and I'm just going to start, and you just mist it all over. And that's going to help tighten the skin back up and kind of close the pores off. And then I'm going to go back in with a heavy hydrating cream. This is something that you want to do in the evening or if you're about to put on foundation, like in the morning. In the evening, a thicker one so it's kind of recharging your skin. And you get a good, a good dollop on there. And again, I'm using the Aveda Tourmaline Charged Hydrating Cream. And um, can you see that hydrating cream? Anyways, and so I'm going to really work that into my palms and um, heat it up and then apply it all over my face. I usually would use an eye cream. I just don't have one out with me right now. And you want to blend it all the way down into your neck. You can go up or you can go down with it. There's no right or wrong. Some estheticians will tell you that you need a certain way. You need to go all the way into your hairline with your moisturizer. I find I'm a hairstylist too and I find a lot of clients don't get their makeup off through here and I go to do a haircut and I'm seeing a lot of product buildup and it's not product buildup from the actual um, hair products like shampoo and mousse and conditioner and things like that. It is makeup buildup. 
So make sure you get really in here, especially if you're not in the shower, to um, get the makeup off and then again moisturize. So um, that's the way to start with a clean, fresh palette. And I'm Lindsay, and thanks for listening.